Welcome to the National Football League's 1998 player draft. So we had the third pick of the draft, and we knew we uh, needed a quarterback. The two obvious ones were Peyton and Ryan Leaf. Thank you. He did get the same hype as Peyton did. So we traded to get up to the second position to make sure we got one of them. We'll start with the Indianapolis Colts having the first selection. It's not hindsight, but we, we would rather have taken Peyton. I, I knew Archie, I knew his, um, uh, Olivia, Peyton's mom, I knew Peyton, and felt very comfortable with them. Uh, I even tried to call Bill Poley, and I could talk to Bill Poley to see if we could trade up to that number one pick. He wasn't interested. Fact is, Colts GM Bill Polian had targeted Peyton Manning from the get-go. On draft day, everyone but the Colts insisted on perpetuating a mystery that had never really existed. Peyton Manning, will he go first to the Colts? Or will it be Ryan Leaf that goes first to the Colts and short second to the Chargers? With the uh, first pick of the draft, the Indianapolis Colts select quarterback, University of Tennessee, Peyton Manning. Their faces said it all. Manning's was pure joy. Ryan Leafs, wistful, despite the forced enthusiasm of his agent. No doubt getting passed over is hard, watching in the wings as the spotlight shines elsewhere. This is hard to do. I guess we must do it. The uh, second choice in the draft, the San Diego Chargers select quarterback, Washington State University, Ryan Leaf. Disappointed or not, Leaf was patient and polished with the press. Uh, will you enjoy the comparison between you two guys as the years go on? That's fine. That means it's a big, big compliment to me because he's, uh, uh, he's the best. He was the number one pick in the NFL draft, so uh, that's a great compliment. Ryan, what do you bring to the Chargers on the field? I hope just an emotion, just emotion, and hopefully some leadership and just a heart, just a heart and soul of a great work, work ethic. I hope. Didn't want you guys to lose the last couple of games so I could play for you next year, but. <laughs> Don't worry, that won't ever happen again, so. <laughs> Thanks to my new coaches, my new owners. It's a privilege for me to be up here with them. They've uh, put so much time and effort into getting me to the city of San Diego, and uh, I feel like I need to reward them in some way. So uh, hopefully a, a Super Bowl ring or two can uh, do that in the next few years. He came in at minicamp and looked terrific. I mean, even the veterans are going, wow. Those play actions were coming around. Yeah, nice job. After minicamp, things went south. That's the last we saw of him. He had um, his agent, Lee Steinberg, wouldn't let him come in for the off-season workouts. And it really concerned us because he was our quarterback. We needed him down here at these things to, to learn the system to, to work. And it was like a stranger. And when he came in, he was overweight, was not in good shape. Um, there, it was, a, it was a, an experience that we'd never been through before. An ill-prepared Leaf was nevertheless given the nod as the starter. His week three effort against the Chiefs remains an NFL all-time low. There is movement, Leaf to throw, hit, bat it down, pass, bat it down, they're gonna roll it a fumble, they roll it a fumble, as a sack by Derek Thomas. Does Kansas City have the ball? Yes, they do! Back to throw off play action as Leaf, lots of time, flings it deep, pass intercepted. Leaf steps up, throws over the middle, San Diego. I even went off the field with Ryan and said, Ryan, just go in the dressing room and just tell your teammates, say, hey, you guys, that one's on me. Let's get back to work. I thought that would be the easiest thing to do, but he couldn't do that. Leaf compounded his bad game with an even worse locker room explosion. You don't talk to me, all right? He went off, and I think uh, Junior and those guys were there, so they think they kept it from getting worse. But his apology didn't help. I misdirected my anger after the Kansas City game. I was extremely disappointed in my performance, and I let it show. And uh, it was really disturbing. So sorry with that sound kind of reversed. The grisly numbers for his rookie year, two touchdowns, 
15 interceptions. And the pass intercepted by Sparks. Brian Lee threw a miserable pass. Fourth interception on Lee. But the lowest point may have come in week five when the Chargers lost to the woeful Colts. Throws one over that pick. A Manning-led squad that managed only two other wins all year. He came in as if he was the, 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 the savior for the organization. She's in love with me. In love with me. Look at me. <laughs> and just didn't respond to anything. Uh, to his teammates, to the coaches. <laughs> That's bull****. <laughs> The thing we missed on, <laughs> we, did, we never did see what kind of a kid he really was. And that's the trouble with picking high. You never know when a top pick will have you on your knees. It's a uh, bad memory. <laughs>